okay in this second part I'm gonna show how exactly it works and as you can see that is just pressure fitted to the bottle and um, I'm gonna show how that's attached into the tank it just has a suction cup but basically this is the guts of the system what I got is the juice bottle and this is just see if I can get it out this is just a pressure fitted hole and I just cut the hole so that it would be about the right size to hold that in there with some pressure I mean it's not incredibly tight I'm gonna move it right now with one hand so you can see about how tight it is see right there I just moved it from here to there so it's not too too tight but just tight enough okay so that's the top of the bottle I'm gonna give it a squeeze and then it just goes into my bubble counter and the bubble counter works basically the line coming in from the juice bottle goes in here into just a bottle with enough water to keep the line coming from the juice bottle with the CO2 into the water and I have one other shorter line let me see if I can show that and this is just what it is one long line, one short line check valve into the tank and uh, very simple system back up okay and so the last thing that I can show is over here the way it attaches to the tank and it's just got okay I'm gonna take it out to show it properly I mean that's all that it is it really is just the airline going into the pill bottle I ended up screwing that valve to the side so I cut a little hole there and I cut a coarse screw and then this thing had like um, just a small cavity that I could use to screw onto the side of the bottle so that's held it up much better than silicone anything at all that I had before this is really just the simplest and easiest way to work with it and then I'm gonna put it right back in there Try to hook it up about the same way I had it before. And so it takes a few minutes for it to start bubbling again. Uh, I just opened everything up so I lost pressure in my main producing bottle and the bubble counter. So those two need to get up to pressure before I start getting any bubbles. But if I squeeze, if I squeeze this, actually if I shake it a little, it'll produce more. Okay, there you go. I just shook the uh, juice bottle, and that's lots of bubbles. All CO2 right there, that is just getting a lot of turbulence. Whoa. So there you go. It'll settle back down very easily. Alright, so good luck making one. And those are all the pieces to my CO2 system. Good luck.